Hi guys, welcome back to GFFA Games and the Old Republic. First of all, apologies for not uploading a video last Sunday. Uh, it's because I wanted to try and get my um, special video out. The, what was it called? The time I contributed to the Star Wars Expanded Universe, which I hope you have watched. It was very important to me. So I really wanted to get that off my chest. Uh, but now it's done, I can get back to playing a little bit more Old Republic, eh? So we've got this heroic mission over here, which I think we've possibly done, but maybe not. Let's speak to Fero and see what he wants us to do. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Nimgang gamgi nia geguan amir na harnak naya nam ramkam kala amka maning maning lebik ba nikal agak kit debab naya amgam baraka ki. What happened after that? Mir ama kupka kramani umnu kiga maya mak. Manuk Maraka Naja, Ki Namabam, Yak Manana. A Jedi's limits must always be put to the test. Omo Gala Apayang. Nila my ini anka amga. Raka Kalam Kara. Nimia Uramagyan Migik. Lapo Ram Anka. Mangi Nikal. Nagnaya Mami Kamgam. Their aim will be fine. Well, I'm pretty sure I might have done that, you know, because I kind of recognised that conversation, unless I just had that conversation previously, <laughs> maybe. That's up that way, shifting priorities. Uh, speed at early, distant early warning, and then we've got to come down here for clearing a path. So let's have a look at the speeder. Might be... Just to see where that wants to take us. Who wants to take us down here? I think. So I'm guessing then the heroic mission's up here somewhere, is it? Um. You know what we're gonna do? Be safe out there. We're gonna do that heroic mission. Oh, I've got I've got mail. Hope it's not Tom Hanks. Oh, thank you. Not quite sure what that is. Let's have a look. Galactic Seasons, Season 4, a humble lockbox. Contains access to the Alliance Alert, the Cold Moon's Tidings. Interesting. Don't know what that is. And what's this one? Mudland Odux. Unlocks the Mudland Odux creature mount. Movement speed increases based on your rank of speed of piloting skill. Oh, I've clicked it. <laughs> okay, it's just added to my available vehicles, so it's pretty cool. Right, where are we headed out to then? Down and then to the left up here. Yep, we're going to do this heroic mission. Oops. I didn't mean to press that. I meant to press L. Uh, shifting priorities. This mission can be read one more time. Fero, a Republic scout, has asked for your help reaching probe droids trapped at the contaminated ruins of Trakan 4. An Imperial outpost. The droids have collected valuable intel, but an Imperial hazmat squad has invaded the area, preventing Fero from bringing the droids back. Head to the ruins of Trakan 4 in the northern Markaran wastes and recover the intel from Fero's hidden probe droids. Okay, we can do that. Like I say, there's a chance I've already done this mission. It's been uh, three or four weeks since I had a chance to play this last, although I have to admit this area doesn't look familiar. Right. 
Indeed. So, um, by the time you're seeing this, um, if this goes up on the Sunday... Then, um... Okay. You should have also seen the finale of Final Liberation, my Warhammer Wednesday series. Um... I'm not... I, I have definitely done this before, haven't I? This looks very familiar now. <laughs> I'm guessing that's one of the things I need to be collected. Oh. Um, are these guys already doing it? They are, look. Let them have that one, then. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what to do next with my Warhammer Wednesday series. Um, I'd love to continue on with the next game. Uh, sorry, the game that I was halfway through completing when it started to uh, crash on me, which was uh, Vengeance of the Blood Angels. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Like I say, it was crashing on me, so I'm not sure what uh, I can do about that exactly. Just joined a group with this chap. Does that mean when he collects that... Um... I'll get it also. I'm not sure. No, I guess not. I'm just going to run around and collect stuff, I guess. Hope BB-8 is uh, healing me. BB-8? Is that his name? Don't think it is, you know. T7, that's the one. Just waiting for to heal me up a little bit. Jesus. couple of watts it's down here how many do I need four more I'm not quite sure I, I wish I hadn't joined this guy's group because I'm not quite sure how to play in a group <laughs> no. but still there we go Another one over there. Look, let's just go and collect these last two. Maybe take out that big asteroid if we can. Collect it. Come on. Play the game. There we go. Oh, 
Right, okay, so we've done that. Let's take this guy out, because he kind of looks like he wants me to take him out. Not a very interesting fight, this one, is it? <laughs> Still. Let's just get it over with. I really do need to learn the combat in this game, don't I? I keep hitting that one, which is an area of effect attack, which isn't really optimal when you're fighting an enemy like this. You just want powerful. Doesn't seem to be doing as much damage though, so. There we go. Just got some credits on him. Not quite sure why. Bit of archaeology. Hop on our speeder. How do I leave this guy's group? Can I leave the guy's group? Surely I can. Um, well, not really anything, hopefully. I don't think there's anything else up here really worth looking at. What's this? Track and Four's legacy, that's okay, so he's doing his own little mission, is he? We don't need to do that, I don't think. To be honest, I'm not actually sure what it is we need to do now. Avoid some of these guys. Avoid any Imperial entanglements. Gotta be a way to leave this group, surely. Hmm. I'd be sure there was a way just to pop out of a group come on those are all the people on my uh... not quite sure why I'm ignoring somebody called Venator uh, but I am apparently anyway let's just go home Okay, I don't know what that guy's doing, honestly. So what is that? If I go down here, do I... Is that a mission that I haven't unlocked yet? Up here? I don't see anything. Unless I already did the mission, of course. Who knows? Let's not... Let's not get bogged down. Let's go and do our own thing. If I had to tell you what I'm going to do, 
I'm going to have a look on the internet. I can't do that because I haven't got my bloody phone on me. <laughs> I was going to look to see how you leave a group, but... Uh, um, uh, I do know one way of doing it. Just to log out and log back in again, right? Shall we do that? Oops, am I going the wrong way here? I want to be going up that way, don't I? Okay, let's try that. An unsafe area, apparently. I'm sure there's a better way to do it, but I don't have my phone on me to search for it, and I couldn't see anything in the options that was immediately obvious about groups and ungrouping, so um, this seems like the fastest way. Okay, we're back here. Hop on our speeder. You know, I bet it was just in the bloody... in here, I bet you could just group and ungroup, right? Maybe? I don't know. Let's not worry about it. Head up the road. I think we're going the right way. Yep. Must be up here somewhere. I'll have to take some guys out though. One of 25 Imperial forces to take out. I think we're going the wrong way here. Is it up here we need to be going? I'm assuming we did do that heroic mission. Um, didn't seem to get any... Uh... Oh no, we did. We got the prize, didn't we, at the end, the reward. Yes. No, it's fine. We definitely did that before, because I remember doing it. But never mind. We did it again. Right, so... This way... Ah, uh, through here. Right, so, what mission is this one? This is... Heavy defences and clearing a path. Oops. Let's have a look. Clearing a path. The Republic has arrived on Balmora, determined to end the Empire's occupation once and for all. Commander Maydeen has asked for your help to obtain control of Balmora's satellite defence system from the Empire. With the help of Hawkeye Tech... Ian Sarkis, you have a hack that will give the Republic brief control of the satellite system. All the preparations are in place. It's time to assault the satellite control tower and face Admiral Riz... Rizair? Okay, so this is the Balmoran um, planetary quest, and that's just to defeat 25 guys, which we might be able to do inside, hopefully. Let's go. Because I've taken so many breaks during this uh, playthrough recently on Balmora, I'm not quite sure how far... Oh, hello. We are through each quest, but this feels like kind of an endgame quest. Really, we're trying to win the resistance over to us. And then we're going to... The idea was to find a cloaking device that will reveal to us the loca oh god a bloody lift uh, the location of the Emperor's hidden fortress, which will then assault, I think. The Republic's going to assault it. That's why we're here. Um according to the yellow text, so that's what we're gonna hopefully be doing 
once we've finished on this planet. I'm sure there'll be many other side quests before we get there, but we'll find out. I'll look in a minute to see how big this area is, because we've still got 11 guys to kill. Oh, it's fairly big. That takes us back out, that's where we've just come, isn't it? So we need to head up that way. Okay, hopefully there's 11 people left for us to kill. I can see you. I was speaking about earlier uh, Warhammer Wednesdays wasn't it so final liberation's finished it's going to be a while until I can get back to playing um, Vengeance of the Blood Angels if I can't get it to work on PC of course I do have it on the Playstation I believe so I could finish it that way potentially um, but it's going to be a while before that happens so for the time being it's only going to be um, the Old Republic being uploaded on a Sunday um, I will say that if you could go and watch my video the time I contributed to the Star Wars Expanded Universe that would be great because I spent a lot of time on that and it's kind of a test of my um, the format that I'd like to be making videos in the future other than just you know this kind of lazy playthrough <laughs> <laughs> you know oh, let's see what Admiral Rizair has got to say anyway enough this ends here the Republic shall have used you better Jedi healing the injured or escorting refugees such a waste you forced the Republic off Balmora once it won't happen again the Jedi does not appreciate my offer of mercy the Empire controls Balmora. The greatest weapons in the galaxy are now in the hands of its strongest power. If the Republic insists on fighting those odds, Balmora will suffer for it. Whatever you've done, you'll pay for it. In wasted time with a fool, it appears. You don't want to die, apparently. Well, we can help them die if that's what they want. Oh. Yeah, so once I've finished uh, playing through the free to play. Um, part of the Jedi Knight's quest I'm probably going to take a little bit of a break from the Old Republic and play Knights of the Old Republic uh, the reason for that is I really wanted to play it since I read uh, the John Jackson Miller series through so uh, I'm looking forward to that One satellite defense system, courtesy of me. How's that for the rookie, Hawkeyes? Guys, tell me the other Hawkeyes are just ignoring me. Stay focused. We'll find the Hawkeyes later. Looks like the hack worked perfectly. I can get one command in before the system locks up. Just say the word and I'll... No. No. This can't be. The Hawkeyes are being executed. Admiral Razier's orders. Stay calm. Where would the Admiral do this? I can use the satellite system to locate their position. These orders are less than an hour old. If you hurry... 
Sarkis, assault's already begun. There's an Imperial command compound. Can't locate. Destroy our defenses. Use the satellite system to find command. Shut down dispatch console. Mating out. Well, I'm really torn up about a bunch of stuff being destroyed. But we're talking life or death here. We've only got one command. We have to use it to find the Hawkeyes. Do it. I won't let innocent people die. The Hawkeyes are being held in the Okara droid factory. We're lucky. That's not too far away. I brought down their biggest defenses with the turbo lasers, but there's still a lot of Imperials inside. If the Hawkeyes are still alive, I'll save them. I can't thank you enough. Now hurry. Okay, we've got to go and rescue the Hawkeyes. On map, where are we going then? Oh, straight back out by the looks of it. Yeah. So it's going to be a while till we get through the uh, free to play portion of this uh, quest, this um, storyline anyway, you know. So it's not going to be happening anytime soon. I don't. I don't think I want to be playing Knights of the Old Republic and this at the s <laughs> what on earth T7 was doing there at the same time. I think I get a little bit confused and bogged down. Um, so, we'll see. What's this place for? If uh, all the the other classes have different uh, quests in here. Looks like we missed out on that bonus, it's not giving us the option anymore. Anyway, where are we heading to? Hawkeye Rescue Operational Occupational Hazards. We're going down there. Okay, let's go. Try and get around as many of these guys as we can. Not actually sure I'm heading in the right direction here, you know. Look in a second. Yes, back onto the main road. Uh, this way. Uh, so, I mean, like I say, like I said previously, um, it's kind of difficult for me to judge this planet because I've had a lot of breaks during it. So, I didn't enjoy this mu as much as I did Alderaan, which I thought was a pretty decent planet. Um, you know, this kind of looks a lot like some of the other planets we've been on. Just a, a bit of a mud ball, really. Oh, we're here already. We are. Bit of archaeology for us. What's this, then? Nothing at all. Okay. Here we are. Oh, a Republic medical droid. Let's just see if we can... Do we have anything we need to get rid of? That's not any better than what we've got already. Oh, just unlock by lockbox. Ah, we do have some stuff that's better. Ooh, that's better as well. Which one's that better then? That one. Cool. I don't know what that is. Do I need to... What have I done? For those who do not wish to wait to encounter Amity naturally on their adventures, these sacred texts can be used to communicate with Amity early and instantly unlock him as a companion. 
I don't see any reason to do that. Might as well encounter them in the story, right? Grants access to mission, the Cold Moon's Tidings. Grants your character access to the mission, the Cold Moon's Tidings. This item grants you a quest that is recommended for level 24. Oh no, I didn't want to do that, did I? Oh well, I've already done it. Never mind. Let's not worry about it too much. <laughs> we don't have to go ahead and do that. Let's just sell some of this crap. Right. <laughs> Honestly, it helps if I know what on earth I'm doing, but I just don't don't sell that. Actually, does it have a value? No. I'm just gonna pop it up there for them for the time being. Well, I sold something up there. Okay. Right. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. Thanks, buddy. Let's get going. So we're here to rescue some guys, right? Down that way. What does it tell us we need to be doing? The Republic has arrived on Balmora, determined to end the Empire's occupation once and for all. You chose to locate Ian Sarkis' fellow Hawkeye Tech's Techs who are about to be executed. Hurry to the Okara droid factory and save the Hawkeye Techs from being executed. Occupational hazards. Bonus. The Hawkeye Techs are about to be executed on Admiral Rizare's orders. As you move through the Okara droid factory to their location, free any other captives you encounter in the research development wing of Okara droid factory. Well, we're certainly giving it a bloody good go, eh? Oh, hello. He didn't like that, did he? Okay, there's so three ways to go. We want to be heading that way, apparently. We don't seem to have a bonus to kill so many people, which is unusual. That's normally what we get. Is him dead? Heading up that way by the looks of it. So as I'm recording this, which is on a Sunday, um, I think the third episode of Ahsoka has dropped. Um, I haven't watched any of them. I'm not currently a subscriber to Disney+. Plus. Oh, come on. This is why I hate lifts. Um, will I watch it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Certainly not anytime soon. Um, they have just announced that Mandalorian Season 1 and 2 is coming out on Blu-ray. I really loved Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, so I will definitely be buying those. Uh, if they release all the others on Blu-ray, even the ones I'm not, you know, really a fan of, which is all of the others apart from maybe Andor, um, I'll probably still buy them, you know? I've even got Resistance Series 1 on DVD, which I've never watched. Um, I've just got it because, you know, I love physical media. Um... Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's probably a, a foolish thing to do, really. I kind of wish I'd bought the Netflix series for the MCU, you know, Daredevil and things like that when they came out on uh, Blu-ray. Um, oh, is this one of the guys we need to free? 
but I didn't, and I think they're quite expensive now. I mean, they were quite expensive when they came out, don't get me wrong. You know, you were looking at 20 quid for a, what was it, eight, eight episode series? <laughs> However many there were, it might have been more than that, 10 or so. But I do wish I'd bought them. Not that I'm a big MCU fan, of course, but I do, uh, and I did enjoy that kind of phase. I thought Daredevil was really good. I didn't finish Daredevil. I think that was a, a series that I didn't watch. The issue was you kind of had to watch them all because they tied into what um, tied into one another. And I thought that uh, what was her name? Her from Breaking Bad, the character she played. God, I can't remember, but it was awful. I couldn't watch that. I just, uh, I think I watched the first series of it, and no, didn't do anything for me. Tried to watch the second series, and I gave up, and I never went back to it. So I find it very difficult now to sit through things that I'm not enjoying. I used to be able to do it in the past, just for the sake of saying I've, you know, done it. If it's part of something bigger. I just can't do it anymore. Just not enough time in the world to sit watching something you hate. <laughs> and I suspect that's one of the issues why things like the MCU are, are struggling now. You know, to... Because people aren't willing to sit and watch something that just isn't very good. And the the quality really has slid with um, the MCU. I don't think it's um, what's up here. Is there anything else in the rest of this facility? Or um, yeah, I don't think it's controversial to say that in the current phase that we're in, which I think is phase four. Is it? I'm not sure. Um, Even what I would consider to be a really good, you know, I really did enjoy watching um, No Way Home, the Spider-Man film. Pretty much the whole reason for that was because of um, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire, right? You know, seeing those kind of previous Spider-Men, I thought that was a really cool thing to do. Doctor Octopus and Green Goblin and um, Electro and S Sandman and it kind of I was more interested in the fact that it closed off those um, universes than how it uh, tied in with anything else I've got no idea what they were thought, they're just more techs aren't they, well, we might as well rescue them all since we're here um, I was more interested in those universes than I was what it was doing with Tom Holland, which from the start I felt was a little directionless, you know? It didn't feel like a proper Spider-Man story. And I'm not saying that because oh, it dared to do something different. I'm just saying that because, um, well, it, it just was, you know, having him... I've rescued you, buddy. You can run away, you know. Never mind. Um, we didn't. We never got to see Uncle Ben or anything like that. It just felt very strange. In hindsight, what I f thought would be a good idea for them to do, and I'm not alone in thinking this is not an original idea, um, would have been to... introduce Spider-Man but he's been around for years yeah like he's been around for five or so years he predates all the Avengers and things like that but have the films focus on Miles Morales who 
I'm I was wasn't familiar with that character whatsoever, but uh, Into the Spider Verse was really really good, and um, what was the other one? The 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 video game Insomniac's Miles Morales really made me actually take notice of that character and recognise him in his own right as a as Spider Man, you know, which is unusual for me because I don't like when they take an an original character and just basically say, well, this is a new version. It's got a different race or a different gender, you know, which they do sometimes do. What's happening in here, then? Oh, okay. Oh, this is where we're meant to be coming. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Let's just do that. I do anything whatsoever. Yeah, but I think it really worked with Miles Morales. He felt like a genuine continuation of the Spider-Man mythos, rather than just a, you know, I hate to say the word, but you know, just a token. You saved us. I didn't think anyone knew we were here. The Imperials were going to use us for target practice. We owe you one. Only doing what was right. Your line of work looks even more dangerous than ours. We're gonna run until there's no more Imperial flags. Thank you again. <laughs> That's us done then, is it? I'm guessing I can't mount in here now. What about out here? Fair enough. So, right, so we're just going to head back out, I guess. Um, necessary detour, Hawkeye rescue. I was just returning to Commander Maydean, that's not too bad. Yeah, I felt that uh, Miles Morales is a very relatable character, you know? Uh, just as much as Peter Parker is. And he was a developed character. He didn't just feel like he was a character that was, you know, on paper, black Spider-Man <laughs> or Latino Spider-Man. is a developed really well. So, no, I'm happy with uh, that. And I think kind of think that had made a bit of a fresher approach in the MCU. Although, having said that, we would probably wouldn't have had uh, Into the Spider-Verse had they done that. Which would have been a shame because, of course, they haven't seen the second one, but the first one was very good. Um, but I don't know, I mean, it's, you know, give and take, isn't it? And I'm not criticising Tom Holland's Spider Man because I thought he did a good job uh, with what he was given. I just don't, I just didn't think the, uh, the storyline was particularly. Uh, what I would expect from a Spider-Man film. My God. This is slow, isn't it? But um, having said that, can I just fast travel out of here? Well, I can do, but I'm not quite sure where I'm going. Let's not do that then. Um, yeah, he played the character well. It just wasn't the character... This wasn't uh, a particularly good Spider-Man film the first two and that's not to say they weren't entertaining because they were they were very entertaining films you know but then having said that how do you follow up the Raimi movies and uh, hmm, it's a difficult one isn't it when you think about it okay I want to head out this way apparently Yeah, um, the MCU itself right now is just a, not something I'm very interested in. The films that have been coming out just don't... I don't know any of the characters. I don't... Uh, well, I don't know some of the characters. I'm not a big Marvel guy, so... 
the last one I went to see at the cinema was Ant-Man Quantumania, was it called? And that was just a nothing film, you know? It just didn't do anything for me. <laughs> Again, it was entertaining, you know? You had Paul Rudd, who plays the character well. <laughs> but it's... surely there's got to be more. Ooh. Oh, brilliant. You know, surely there's got to be more to the film than just you know, he played the character well, you know? I could sell that, I think. Oh. Bit of a stim, is it? Never mind. Uh, stolen Imperial Data, I can sell that and I can sell that. Haven't really taken much else, have we, in this... Uh, didn't bother searching all the all the dead guys because what's the point? Thanks, buddy. Uh, I've never watched Shang Chi or The Eternals, although The Eternals, although it had a really bad rap when it came out, seems to have uh, seems to have gone up in people's estimations. Um, yeah, I don't know. I kind of think they should have ended it at, um, what was that one called? Oh, we've got to head all the way back up there, have we? Well, let's do that then. Um, ended it after the Infinity War and Endgame, because they were very good films. You know, you can't really criticise them. Other than that, weird bit where all the female characters get together and charge that was very strange honestly it's, it's scenes like that that really take you out of a film and just make you cringe like oh god who is this meant to be appealing to hey it's that guy how you doing buddy uh, I don't want to join your group though so please don't invite me <laughs> um, yeah the uh there are some instances in films where they might as well just have a character wave a flag in your face, you know, and say, this is our ideology. Is it a bit a lot less cringeworthy than having scenes like that where you just think, why are you doing this? You know. <sighs> Not to get too political, of course, Anyway, where are you, Mr. Maydean? I've already done your mission, I don't want to do it again. I come the wrong way. Oh, no, it's the speeder we need to use, sorry. I'm just jabbering on a bit here, aren't I? Never mind. Okay, so that's where Maydean is. Let's do that. It does look like we've still got a lot of the planet left to explore, so I'm guessing we're nowhere near done yet. It's odd, because I kind of thought that was a bit of an end game mission, that one. But maybe not. Never mind. Once we've returned to Maydean, I think we'll end it there for today. Um, we'll come back. Trying to make these videos a little bit shorter, just so I can uh, get more of them out there without uh, you know, without playing for hours and hours and hours. Okay, so we've got a flashpoint there. It's down there, is he? Okay. Bit of a confusing design, isn't it? This, but this is where we started out, isn't it? I think this is a starting area. Oh, is it just this? Not oh, daily heroic missions. Nope, don't want that. 
He must be in here, is he? Specialty goods. So, oh, can I? So, it's a scrap peddler I need. Sorry. Sorry, but it's not. I don't want to talk to you. I'm heading up this way. Hey. Thought it was R2 and 3PO there for a minute. Oh, do we have a Jedi Knight trailer? Glad to share my skills with someone talented. Oh, you ain't got any you can spar anytime. Sure, buddy. General Maydeen. Welcome back. The satellite system's down and the battle's over. I've been in some intense ops before, but that... Let's just say Bugtown never looked so good. We're holding the Empire back by the skin of our teeth. Freeing captive civilians wouldn't have been my choice. I made the only choice I could as a Jedi. But what's right isn't always what's best. Either way, we'd likely be standing in a bombed out mess if it wasn't for you. You've got my thanks. It was the least I could do. Our next major offensive is Imperial Headquarters in the city of Sobrik. There's a sizable Belmoran resistance set up nearby. Vec Taurat, the resistance leader, requested our aid. But the satellite system kept us from answering. I'd like to send you. Anyone fighting the Empire can consider me an ally. Vec's a bit of a patriot. He'll like your attitude. I'll let Vec know you're heading in that direction. He'll be waiting. I've got to get back to troop deployment. I'm certain we'll cross paths again. Right, so now I've got to uh, speak to another guy. Oh, he's got a little arrow on, so let's take that one. Okay. There we go. It's better, isn't it? Get out of here, then we'll uh, have a look to see what it is we need to be doing next. Where are we going? Right, so. Looks like we're heading back to the speeder, doesn't it? So let's just do that since we're here. There's another mission, our daily heroics. Let's not worry about those. Yeah, as I was, I was making my video about um, the Dark Horse uh, comic forums, I had to be very careful, you know, not to be uh, too negative about current Star Wars. <laughs> okay, it's like everything's down here. Anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there for today. Uh, I've quite enjoyed playing through some of those missions. Um, I don't think we're going to have a great deal left to do on Balmora, but we'll find out. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week, hopefully.